Now that we've set up our own copy of the Ionic Chat project and installed all of its dependencies, as well as set up a Firebase real-time database for us to store and exchange messages, we can get started on actually writing code for the project and changing it. I'm going to be writing the code and changing the code inside of Sublime Text, and any changes that I make will appear inside of my browser window in my Ionic Lab preview. Now, if you prefer written instructions, remember that the code.tac.utexas.edu website does have all of these instructions available on a PowerPoint presentation. And the neat thing about it is that the PowerPoint presentation does have links to each of the code changes for each step available on GitHub. Whenever you encounter a step, you'll see that inside of each of these, what are called commits, it'll show you what line was changed in pink and what the new line reads in green. So for example, the first change that we're gonna make is that we're gonna change the login page title to something more meaningful like Ionic Chat. In addition to that, we're gonna change the welcome messages. So this shows us that I am replacing line 10 with a new line 10 and line 19 with a lot more lines starting with 19 and ending in 22. Those are some resources that are available to you.